Okay, that was a little different this morning. Facebook has changed the platform for live feeds just a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit. And today I want to talk about what happens when life happens. And as soon as I go live, it starts to rain. And so what a perfect introduction to what I want to talk about today. Because sometimes it rains on your parade. Sometimes things happen that change your course of intention for the moment. Now, that's the reason why having a purpose is so important. So let's see who's coming on here this morning. All right, we have Linda and Rhonda and Dave and others are joining us. So uh, because there's a little change this morning, please announce yourself. Let me know that you're here. That way I will know what's going on. This is a new, like I said, uh, Facebook has just changed this. And so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Um, I was a little taken by surprise this morning. Wasn't exactly sure what to do. And so as the rain covers up my glasses, um, I'm just I'm determined I'm going to do this Facebook live uh, here standing in the rain because I was planning on talking about what happens when things like this happen anyhow so we'll do the best that we can and uh, I will just enjoy the rain I kind of needed to feel this this morning anyhow so uh, last week I had some interesting things happen that were completely completely unplanned things that um, are tragic sometimes and things that just took me by surprise, things that I had not planned, things that were not part of my schedule, and yet part of my purpose. And so sometimes you have to realize that built into your purpose are going to become are going to come these little hiccups. And when those hiccups come, the most important thing for you to do is to learn how to roll with them. So we're getting some comments here. I appreciate y'all talking to me. And so let's see what we've got going on today. I want—I don't want to forget. I don't want to lose anybody here. So I appreciate you coming on. But there's just a little. I have a little difference I have to work with today. So um, lots of you have joined today. Good morning, Brooke. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Jeremy, uh, Dave, John. Uh, and John's new. I don't know that I have met John before. And Linda and Karen. And let's see who else do we have? We had Rhonda earlier. Lynn. Uh, Alicia, Betty, we've got all kinds of people coming on. So I really, really appreciate that. Yes, Dave, I'm always by freeway. I try to keep the sound down just enough that you don't pick up as much of that highway noise. But um, but this is my outdoor studio, and sometimes it rains in my outdoor studio. And we have to learn how to roll with the flow. We have to learn how to roll with the punches. We've got to we've got to figure out that there are certain things that are not going to distract me. Even though they are distractions at the moment, there are certain things that are not going to sidetrack me. Even though those sidetracking things might really put us on the sideline for just a little bit. Sometimes it's a health issue. Sometimes it's a health issue with somebody else. That's what happened to me last week. A good friend who is in the hospital and is not well. And, um, and I just needed to be there. I needed to be there for a little bit. Uh, I, I needed to be by his side. Uh, at the time and I will do that here in just as soon as I get off this live feed this morning and Go spend some time with him. Those are the kind of things that sometimes happen to you to you, but figure out where That is leading you in your ultimate purpose because if you can learn how to do that Then then the rain doesn't bother you then the the the, the what happens when life happens I wrote an article several years ago entitled what happens when life happens on the road to success and I've since kind of dropped that on the road to success because that's really where we all ought to be headed. And, and we ought to be making the world a better place than we found it. We ought, to be in the pers we ought to be in pursuit of those things that we're passionate about. We ought to be um, doing those things that make a difference in our world. And so life's going to happen as that takes place. We're going to have health issues. I, in, this, in this year, I've been in a hospital once and I've had a couple of days when I just couldn't function. And that happens, and you've got to plan for it. You've got to plan for it into your schedule, even though it's an unplanned event. And planning for unplanned events is extremely important. We'll learn to plan for unplanned events. If we'll learn to plan for those things that we didn't plan for. So, and the way you do that is real simple. This is what I'm going to do if. This is going to be my plan if. 
You know, I used to, for, for a long time, I had to take somebody to the hospital every, every little bit, and I never knew when it was going to happen. I always had a book. So when I was sitting, waiting in the waiting room, uh, I could have just sat there and stared at the wall, but instead I always had a book stuck in my pocket so that when I ended up having to do that, which I was more than glad to do, I had something that could take that space, something that could take that time, something that could make it make a difference. What happens if, if life happens on this road and you've got to find something that you're going to put in that space, you've got to find a way to have a plan for what happens if something takes place. What happens if I have to spend a day waiting beside a friend who is not well? What do I do then? How do, I, how do I adjust my life so that I can allow for life to happen and not let it get me 10 years down the road and go, well, I would have done that except. I would have been there except. I would have, I would have made a difference except. I would have completed this dream except. Well, let's learn how to figure out how to work around those exceptions, okay? That might be taking a book with you so that you're ready to get caught up. Nothing better than sitting at the feet of some, some expert, somebody that has been down the road before, somebody who has been down that path. Nothing better than sitting at the feet of somebody doing that while you're sitting in the hospital waiting for something else that's going on. One of the reasons for these live feeds is it gives you the ability to be able to listen to that at a time when your schedule gets disrupted and things don't go as you had planned for them to go you have some things that can be beneficial to you because life is going to happen to you. Things are never perfect. And because they're never perfect, you have to have a contingency plan. What am I gonna do if, maybe it's read a book, maybe it's listen to a live feed, maybe it, it, it is to create a checklist, maybe it, it's just one of those things. Uh, Linda's saying, I, I've had a few of those life happen moments in the past few weeks, and I hope they're done now. I, I, I hate to burst your bubble, Linda. They're never done. They always happen somewhere. There's always going to be another one. When, when we start thinking that this is, now, now that I'm past that, I can do this, what ends up happening is that we start putting them off. I'm, I'm trying to encourage you to create a plan for what you're going to do if that happens. You know, I have become completely dependent upon video. Most of my training series require video, uh, and, and so I've become completely dependent upon video. Uh, do the live feeds, we download them, we put them up to YouTube, we do all kinds of stuff with this. And it's all done by video. And the problem that I've run into in the last three weeks, my video upload speeds have just blown me away. And I struggled to get a video up. It took me 49 minutes to do a 43 second video the other day. Well, what was the solution? We're fortunate we have Google Fiber coming to town. So what I did was I contracted with Google Fiber. They're gonna be here on Thursday. And yes, the clicking sound is kind of cool. It does sound like an old fashioned projector, but it's the water dripping out of my gutter. Uh, good catch, Dave. That was a really good catch. Um, uh, and Carrie's making a good point. Uh, sometimes those those uh, what ha life happening moments are a way for God to redirect you or to direct your path or to cause you to focus on something that you wouldn't have done if you were caught up in the flurry. Okay. Uh, Brooks says, "Be prepared." I've started carrying a big bag that I now affectionately call my mobile office. Yes, that's exactly what you do. Is you start planning for what happens if I can't do this. And then you make that happen, okay? So, no, Dave, that's fine. Um, I, and, and a long time ago, I told this story, probably been a year ago now, I told this story about that bag, that mobile office bag that I had put five books in. And those five books were going to be very, very important to me because they were going to be, what happens if? All right, take a vacation, I'm going to go see my kids, and we're all going to go to the zoo, and then my mother has a heart attack. So spent my time sitting in the hospital room. I got my books. I'm ready to go. I've got, I, you know, I've I, 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 I planned for what happens if. 
And then I take my kids, we need to take a break, so we leave the hospital, we go up the road, we go to an art st store, and I leave the bag in the back of the car. Somebody breaks into the car and steals the bag. They think they're stealing the computer bag. What they don't know was inside of that bag was everything they need to change their life. Now, I don't know if the thief who stole that, I have no idea if he read any of those books or if he got mad and set them on fire. It doesn't make any difference to me. But in that bag was a New Testament. There was um, the Golden Rule by Napoleon Hill. There was uh, the Yes Attitude by Jeffrey Gittimer. There was a book called Change Your Thinking, Change Your Life. Uh, there goes the Google people right past my house. I'm excited. Um, and, and, and there were things in that bag that could have changed his life. I know that because they've changed mine. And I, I, I thought, you know, this is, this is what happens if. And I've been talking about that ever since. You know, sometimes we've got to figure out what are we gonna do? What's going on, Collier? Let's see. Oh, it's good to have you in town, Collier. Maybe we could catch up for a cup of coffee or something. That would be pretty cool. Haven't seen you for a long time. So. What happens if life happens to us while we're headed to where we thought we were going? Sometimes, as Carrie says, those where we were headed gets redirected into a place that is more in line with our, our purpose, more in line with who we are and what we were made to do. And so as the sun comes out, the rain starts to end, I just want to encourage you today that sometimes it's going to rain. And we got to have a, a plan for when it starts to rain because always the sun comes back out. All right? I love you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, feel free to share it with somebody else and encourage them about what might happen if life happens on the road to success.